Oh my god, please, I am begging you, just ten seconds, please. Can you just not fall over for ten seconds? That's all it'll take for us to get to the couch, I swear. We can do it. I know we can. Just a few more steps. Holy shit, we actually made it. You know, I honestly didn't think we were going to. I really thought you were going to drop like a sack of rocks and take me down with you. Yeah, it's called lying. I do it a lot. And so do you. Like when you're telling me that, oh no, you're not going to get drunk. You're only going to have a few drinks and then sober up before driving yourself home. In fact, you're really good at that kind of lying. Since I absolutely believed you up until you were leaning against me and yelling in my ear that you wanted to go home so you could put on some fuzzy socks on your hands because they were cold. Not that drunk. You were absolutely that drunk. Yes, you were. You were yelling in my ear the entire way home, and I could smell how drunk you were. Your breath smelled like artificial fruit and vodka decided to use your mouth as a wedding venue. And then invited all their friends, rum, fireball, and club soda to the reception. If you want the honest truth, you still kind of smell like someone mixed a bag of sour gummy worms with hard lemonade. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I just thought you'd like to know. Oh, shut up. My breath does not smell that bad. I mean, it doesn't, right? I didn't even have that much. And that was like, hours ago. Hey, Fireball doesn't smell that bad. There are way worse things to smell like. I mean, yeah, obviously there are also way better things to smell like, but after a party like that, I'd say I smell better than most people did on their way out. Oh, absolutely I saw them. Those two were a fucking mess. But knowing them, what else should we have expected? Amen. Cheers to us both escaping that shit show. We got out of there at exactly the right time, I'd say. I got a call on the way home, and I genuinely don't know who it was, but I know that they were at the party and I heard fire alarms in the background. I didn't hear too much of what they were saying, but from the sound of it, they dropped their phone into a pool or something. Yeah, I felt bad, but I'm more curious about where the hell they found a pool. We were nowhere near a pool. The only thing I could think of is that maybe they filled the bathtub up for some reason. Which, why? I guess, sure, anything is possible. But honestly, if they thought that leaning over a bathtub full of water while making a drunken phone call was a good idea, then sucks to suck. That's all on them. Well, I'm sure we'll hear all about it tomorrow. Hell, I'm sure we'll hear about plenty of stuff tomorrow. However, until then, I plan on fully enjoying the calm before the storm while sleeping off the memory of me singing sexy back like a damn banshee. Yes, it was that bad. And quit trying to tell me it wasn't. Yes, it was. Absolutely it was, but I appreciate your support. It was, but I'm not going to argue with you about it anymore. Let's just agree to disagree. But know deep down that I'm right. Good. Glad we can agree. Kind of. Anyway, 
You doing all right? Think you'll be okay if I head out? No? Do you need something? Want some water or something to eat? Oh, shit. Are you gonna be sick? What? Why do you need me to stay with you? I mean, I love hanging out with you and all, but it's not really hanging out if I'm just sitting on the couch and you're asleep in your bed. Hey, real quick for me, define wanting to sleep with me. Oh, 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 okay. All right, you mean like literally sleep? And cuddle, sure, but just sleep and cuddle. That's what you meant, right? Okay, just making sure that's what you meant. Huh? No. That's what I thought you meant. I, um, uh, yeah, I knew what you meant. I don't think so. I have to run some errands on the other side of town tomorrow, and I'll have to leave early so I can beat the traffic and be back before... <sighs> oh, come on. Don't pout at me like that. I have to wake up early tomorrow. I can't stay here. Stop that. Quit looking at me with the sad puppy eyes. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm weak for the puppy eyes, and that's why I'm telling you to quit. <sighs> okay, fine, you win. Is that what you want to hear? Yes, I'll stay here so we can go to bed together. Happy now? Yeah, yeah, quit your cheering. Let's just go to bed, okay? I still have errands tomorrow, and I'd like to get some sleep before I have to get up and be a responsible member of society. Do you still need help walking? <sighs> I'll take that as a yes. Here, lean on me. That's it. I got you. <sighs> okay, here we go. Now, do you want to change before you go to bed, or are you going to just sleep in that? <sighs> That's what I figured. As hot as you look in that outfit, it looks pretty uncomfortable. Hmm? Yeah, it looks really good on you. I think everyone looked at you a bit too long tonight. <laughs> Fair enough. Looking good is nice and all, but nothing is better than the feeling of changing out of all of that and into something comfortable. Agreed. That's why I went with something more comfortable this time. Yeah, go ahead and change. I'll turn around. Go ahead and change so we can sleep. And cuddle. Sure.